down the streets in the fancy car Said H-I-T-L-E-R Thought we'd never make it but here we are Said H-I-T-L-E-R Driving down the streets in the fancy car Said H-I-T-L-E-R Thought we'd never make it but here we are The name is A and I'm back in command Cause I'm the illest girl representing Deutschland Right one, right two, right three, that's me in the last section, you read about the rise of dictatorial regimes in several countries in Europe. In this section, you'll read about the rise of Hitler and the Nazi party in Germany. Hitler and his views. Adolf Hitler was born in Austria in 1889. He moved to Vienna to become an artist, but was rejected by the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. While in Vienna, however, he developed his basic ideas. Racism was at the center of Hitler's ideas. Hitler was also an extreme nationalist. He believed in the need for struggle and understood how political parties could use propaganda and terror. In 1919, he joined the German Workers' Party, a right-wing extreme nationalist party in Munich. By the summer of 1921, Hitler had taken total control of the party. He renamed it the National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, or Nazi for short. In 1923, he organized an uprising against the government in Munich. This uprising, called the Beer Hall Push, was crushed, and Hitler was sent to prison. During his time in prison, Hitler wrote Mein Kampf, or My Struggle, a book about his movement and, his, and its basic ideas. In Mein Kampf, extreme German nationalism, strong anti-Semitism, and anti-communism are combined with a theory of struggle. Hitler's theory emphasized the right of superior nations to gain Lebensraum, or living space, through expansion. It also emphasized the right of superior individuals to gain authoritarian leadership over the masses. Rise of Nazism Hitler decided that the Nazis would have to gain power by legal means, not by violent overthrow of the government. This meant that the Nazi party would have to become a mass political party that could compete for votes. After his release from prison, Hitler expanded the Nazi party to all parts of Germany. By 1932, it had 800,000 members and was the largest party in the Reichstag, or German parliament. Germany's economic problems were a critical factor in the Nazi rise to power. Unemployment had risen to 6 million by the winter of 1932. The impact of the Great Depression made extremist parties more attractive. Hitler also promised to create a new Germany. His focus on national pride, national honor, and traditional militarism appealed to his listeners. Victory of Nazism The elites of Germany looked to Hitler for leadership. He had the mass support to create a right-wing authoritarian government that would save Germany and people in privileged positions from a communist takeover. In 1933, President Hindenburg agreed to allow Hitler to become chancellor and create a new government. On March 23, 1933, the Reichstag passed the Enabling Act. This law gave the government the power to create constitution, a constitution for four years while it issued laws to deal with the country's problems. It gave Hitler's actions a legal basis. He no longer needed the Reichstag or President Hindenburg. He became a dictator appointed by the Reichstag itself. The Nazis worked quickly to bring all institutions under Nazi control. The civil service was purged of Jews and democratic elements. Large prison camps, called concentration camps, were set up for people who opposed the new government. Trade unions were dissolved. 
all political parties except for the Nazis were abolished. When Hindenburg died in 1934, the office of president was also abolished. Hitler became the sole ruler of Germany. Public officials and soldiers were required to take an oath of loyalty to Hitler as their Führer or leader. The Nazi State, 1933 to 1939. Hitler wanted to develop an Aryan racial state that would dominate Europe and possibly the world for generations to come. Nazis thought that the Germans were the true descendants and leaders of the Aryans. They misused the term Aryan to mean the ancient Greeks and Romans and 20th century Germans and Scandinavians. They believed that they could create another empire like the ancient Roman Empire. They also believed that there had been two German empires, or Reichs, the Holy Roman Empire and the German Empire of 1871 to 1918. It was Hitler's goal to create a third Reich, the, Emperor, the Empire of Nazi Germany. The Nazis used terror and repression to create their totalitarian state. The Guard Squadrons, also known simply as the SS, played an important role. It was originally created as Hitler's bodyguard, and under the direction of Heinrich Himmler, the SS came to control both the secret police forces and the regular police in Germany. Besides the police forces, it used concentration camps, execution squads, and death camps, concentration camps where, pris where prisoners were killed. To end the depression, Hitler created public works projects and gave money to construction firms to put people back to work. But it was a huge rearmament program that finally solved the unemployment problem. By 1937, less than 500,000 people were unemployed. The Nazis' part in bringing an end, an end to the Depression was an important reason that many Germans accepted Hitler and the Nazis. Demonstrations and spectacles were also used to make the German people accept Hitler's po policies. These events created mass enthusiasm and excitement. Churches, schools, and universities were also brought under the control of the Nazis. Youth organizations were created that taught Nazi ideals. Women were considered important in the Aryan state because they bore children. The Nazis believed that men were meant to be warriors and political leaders, while women were meant to be wives and mothers. These ideas determined employment opportunities for women. Jobs in heavy industry, university teaching, medicine, and law were considered unsuitable for women. The Nazis encouraged women to pursue other occupations such as social work and nursing or not to work at all. The Nazi party reflected Hitler's anti-Semitic beliefs. In September 1935, the Nazis announced new racial laws at the annual party rally in Nuremberg. These Nuremberg laws excluded Jews from German citizenship and forbade marriages between Jews and German citizens. Jews were also required to wear yellow Stars of David and to carry identification cards saying they were Jewish. A more violent phase of anti-Semitism began on the night of November 9, 1938, the Kristallnacht, Night of Shattered Glass. Nazis burned synagogues and destroyed 7,000 Jewish businesses. 30,000 Jewish men were rounded up and sent to concentration camps. At least 100 Jews were killed. After Kristallnacht, Jews were barred from all public transportation and public buildings, such as schools and hospitals. They were not allowed to own, manage, or work in any retail store. Jews were also encouraged to emigrate from, from Germany. But here we are. Yo, that's it, that's my